Welcome back to Melanic Art. This is Mickey, and today I'm working on something that um, I had to just make sure the focus was in there. Um, something I had started um, earlier in the day, and so I'm now just going to finish it up. And I've sped a lot of this up because it just would take too long, and I'd probably run out of things to talk about. But I think my main focus that I want to talk about is um, artist style. And I have been accused of, and that sounds harsh, but it's, I'm just saying those words for no reason. I've been told I don't have a style or that I, um, they can't, people can't tell um, what I'm going to do next. And I kind of feel like that is a good place to be. Um, I know a lot of people worry about um, creating a style and staying within it and then you have something that your customers will come to expect and enjoy but also there is um, a period of time in the beginning when you're starting off as an artist um, really pouring your heart and soul into it like I create every day I try to create something every day um, and when you get to that point you're still trying to feel yourself out and I mean it's like a two-year process to even kind of discover your own style so um, I've been back I've been back and forth with art for at least 12 years I started off with oils and that was just my thing that's what I really wanted to do I was really good at landscapes but I was horrible at portraits and um, they would always frustrate me and I'd be nervous the moment I started out um, with oils but oils are so forgiving because you can correct them and correct them and correct them and, and with um, watercolors as you're seeing here with the nose I've made it way too dark and it bothered, bothered me through this whole painting with watercolors so it's really hard to like um, to uh, make a mistake and try to correct it with watercolors unless you like have a tool belt of all these skills that you know of in order to fix it um, but with oil, it's really easy to wipe something off or scrape it off and then start again or paint over it and start again or um, manipulate the, the wet and wet um, oil paint. And um, so, but even then, I was really horrible at portraits. I mean, I have one on my wall right now, a couple on my wall I'm looking at from like 10 years ago. One of myself and one of a um, Native American woman with her little papoose baby on her back, and um, and I they just look. I mean, it, they bother me. <laughs> I almost want to take them down, but it's a journey. You know, you go from one place to another and to another, and you're constantly growing, and that's really what it's all about. You know, every day you should just say, "I'm picking this up, and I'm inspired to do this today," and I'm not going to lock myself into something. And if you are really stuck in a pattern and you that's your comfort zone, then that's okay, you know. People can come to expect that from you and enjoy um, the time you spend into each uh, piece that you make. Um, but for those others of us who are like kind of like those people that are like the jack of all trades and master of none type, which... I kind of fall into that group. Um, it's just, you, you sort of, you want to try new things. And um, for Christmas, I bought myself a bunch of paint. Um, and that particular paint that you're looking at is um, from Meow Meow Capel. She made that for me, and I'll, I'll put up in the iCard the video of me unboxing that. It's so great. Those are Mission Gold uh, paints, Mijello Mission Gold. Um, just. Uh, for me to try them so it was so kind but um, when I had bought myself <clears throat> a bunch of watercolors for Christmas I keep slowly unboxing them and each time I unbox something new I'm finding new techniques and new ways and I'm building upon what I've learned before so my art is ever-changing and I feel that I have improved because I've taken time to really pour myself into the, um, the the science of paint and the science of um, technique and I am immersing myself into this 
world of um, artists and it's great for introverts like me who don't have a lot of time for socializing um, don't really want to have a lot of time for socializing um, to just really find um, art communities online and people that are supportive and um, it's wonderful so I think you know wrapping it up here I kind of think that you know style changes people change they, we are ever changing you know you are changed just by conditions around you like there's things that you didn't know we, you were going to experience that just sort of all of a sudden happened to you one day and then boom your style changes so forgive yourself you know if you're you know not locking yourself into some style um, just focus on your technique you know focus on you know perfecting you know this or that like shading or um, getting the eye correct or um, finding ways to you know um, create something new like completely um, something from your imagination uh, which is something I have a hard time doing so I rely a lot of, uh, with um, I rely, I rely a lot on the sketchy app to um, offer me new portraits and new inspiration so this is actually one of those uh, people from Sketchy that I'm painting. But um, I hope to I hope you like this uh, video, and I'm just going to leave it here. And I really appreciate you um, coming over and checking out my stuff. And um, I hope you have a great day. And I shall see you in the next one. Take care.